I got a new salt and pepper um, mill set. Um, my old one broke, so I got another one. Um, it looks really good. Hopefully, I'll like it. If I do, I'll put the link below so maybe you can get yourself one too. Here they are out of the package. They're acrylic. Aren't they nice? And they're named Chelsea. It reminds me of Bill and um, Hillary's daughter, who just had a daughter. What's her name? Charlotte? Charlotte Clinton? Anyway, um, let's get cooking. Oh, how you do? I was shopping in Maya the other day, and since I was on vacation, I was taking my time, and I saw something I've never seen before, white asparagus. Maybe I've seen it, but I just didn't pay attention. It was on special, so I bought a bunch, and I recall years ago having um, chicken roulade with asparagus in it, so I thought I'd try making it. I'm, of course, going to use the white asparagus. I have some mozzarella and hot pepper blend cheese. I'm going to um, make some mushroom flavor rice. I'm going to glorify it with some additional mushrooms and uh, pepper, um, onions sauteed in. Uh, for the roulade, I'm going to use the Livingston Chardonnay since um, my white wine vinegar uh, was finished. I'm going to use poultry seasoning, a Montreal um, chicken grill mate seasoning, Creole seasoning, uh, lemon pepper seasoning, some um, toothpicks, some grape poupon Dijon mustard, and of course salt and pepper from my new um, pepper mill and salt shaker. I'm, I'm going to uh, stuff the chicken breast that I've already um, filleted and pounded. I pounded it like this with my heel of my hand um, and some, what is this called? Pork gile bacon. Um, some people use prosciutto, but I'm going to use pork gile bacon because that's what I have. I trimmed the breast and uh, f sliced it um, and then pounded it. With what I took off, I'm going to throw that in a little pan of boiling water with some bouillon cubes and a handful of mixed vegetables and have some soup. So, let's get started. I've seared the bacon and finished pounding the um, chicken breast. I'm going to now season the chicken breast with the seasonings, slather on some Dijon mustard, and uh, put the bacon on, uh, add some of the asparagus, and roll them up using the toothpicks. I'll keep you up to date on my progress. They're all seasoned up on both sides and I've added the bacon. Now I'm going to add the mustard and the asparagus. Oh, I blanched the asparagus in that soup water that I was boiling um, with the extra bits of chicken and uh, bouillon. I've added the Dijon mustard, Greg Poupon, and the pepper bend and mozzarella cheese mixture. Now I'm going to add the blanched asparagus and roll up the roulades and use a toothpick to keep them together. See you back soon. Here are the roulades all trussed up. I'm going to saute them in the pan now that I um, seared the bacon in and uh, that pan will then become the pan I make the sauce for the roulades in uh, while the roulades are baking in the oven. I have them searing in the pan now. I'll turn them over and then put them in the oven for about 25 minutes to half an hour on 325. Then uh, while that's cooking, I'll make the rice and the sauce. Show you my progress in a few minutes. Here they are after searing. Now I'm going to put them in the oven. I'll cover them with aluminum foil uh, for 25, about 25 minutes to a half an hour on 325. I'm going to make the sauce and the rice now. I'm going to saute some onions and mushrooms in butter for the rice and for the sauce. I'm going to use the pan I seared the bacon and the roulades in. Um, put about a cup of the broth soup mix that I mentioned earlier in it and then um, use some white wine so a dash of Dijon mustard and some uh, cornstarch to thicken it up. 
uh, for a sauce for the roulades. I'm going to also have a salad since the asparagus aren't green to add a green uh, element to the meal. Show you my progress in a bit. The rice is ready. I've had it sitting so it can absorb the rest of the water and I don't have to worry about burning. I've mixed a couple three tablespoons of cornstarch with a couple three tablespoons of cold water and I've got a couple cups of uh, the soup broth. I put a pat of butter, a splash of wine in the pan I cooked the um, bacon in and the roulades when I seared them. It's uh, warm enough now so I'm going to add the cornstarch and stir until it thickens. I'll be back to show you the plate up. See you soon. Here are the roulades. I've um, allowed them to rest for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to prepare them for plating. I've sliced the large roulade into four pieces. I'll slide it onto the plate, add some rice and some sauce, and dinner will be ready. Dinner is ready. I put a splash of red wine vinaigrette on the salad and uh, the gravy sauce on the roulade. Don't forget to take out the toothpicks. You don't want your um, family and friends or guests skewered with a toothpick, unbeknownst to them. So, dinner's ready. I hope you enjoy. Do try this recipe. It's a winner.